Eddie Murphy wrote you in Norbit, and you talk about you wanted to be a comedic actor. Yeah. There's no bigger one than Eddie Murphy. Never. And he wrote you in Norbit. Can I tell you the story? Yes. I, I know. I, Please I, do. I, I, we run out nah, of time. Nah, we got time. Bro, I got invited over Eddie's house. And I said, man, but I, I, I said, but you ain't Eddie. <laughs> the dude that invited me <laughs> right. wasn't Eddie. I said, man, I don't know. He said, no, 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 no. It's cool, man. Eddie said I could bring right. some right. people around there. I said, dude, come on, man. I do not want to show up at Eddie's house. Right. And I'm not supposed to be there. So, I, man, I said, oh, but I had to, I, you know, he's like, no, man, Eddie is cool, cool. Right. So we go over to his house, man, and I'm like, oh, my God, this place is the most palatial thing I've ever seen. I like, I ain't never seen, I didn't know people live like this. <laughs> I swear, man, that was at the moment where you're like, good God, this is a, one of the most giant people in the world. And he's there and people and there's been food and everything and the house full of people and all things. And I'm like, but where's Eddie? Oh, man, I'm, I'm just thinking, Lord. And Eddie's at the top of the stairs. And I went, oh, he's looking over the whole thing. I'm like, oh, man. And then he comes right down the stairs, looks me dead in the eye. Like, and he ain't looking at nobody else in the room. He's looking at me. I'm like, oh, damn it. I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> like, he looking at me like, he said, you walk dead over to me, man. I'm going, oh, I'm about to get kicked out of this man's house. He said, T, come here. And I will I follow him. And we go to the hallway. He said, hey, man, my brother's writing this movie. My brother, Charlie, he said, he's writing this movie called Norbit, man. We got a role. We wrote just for you. Hey! He said, what you want? You want to be in this movie with us? I said, holy cow, who gets this? Who gets this, Shannon? Certainly... He's up. There's there's billions and billions of people on earth. Right. And I got that. Right. You ain't gotta tell me nothing. I feel like that endorsement, the fact that he said, we wrote this for you. You. Because they recognize the passion that I bring to every role. They knew I wasn't gonna mail it in. They knew I wasn't gonna complain. They knew I was gonna come with it. Big black jack. And I did. And I'm so thankful for it, man. The fact that it worked with Eddie and Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. And look, Charlie's gone. Mm -hmm. Good friend. Yeah. Good friend. This blows my mind. You also were in Soul Plane with Mark, with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. That was one of the first things. And and this is kind of before Kevin Hart became the K-Hart that we know him as currently. Oh. Did you see this kind of meor meoric, meoric? meteoric rise yes. for him. Yes. Kevin was a superstar. But see, you gotta understand, Soul Play was the most bootleg movie of yeah, all time. Like, I was at the dog. gas station. No, 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 wait, wait. I was at the gas station and it was, I was like, man, this movie coming out in six months. They're like, hey man, you did a good job in Soul Play. I'm like, huh? Huh? I saw it last night. <laughs> I said, how you, man, I got it at the house, man. What you talking about? I was like, I pumped my gas. Dude, I went to Roscoe's. It's sitting out there in front of Roscoe's. <laughs> I said, how y'all get so? Yeah, man, just go in, go in there and get your waffles, bro. Don't bother me, man. I, I wanted to be like, man, y'all can't be selling these movies. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, man, go get your waffles, bro. Don't be, don't be messing with me. I was like, all right, all right. I said, they selling my movie outside. Dude, the streets love, love Soul Play. Love Soul Play. They didn't pay a dime to see it, though. No. <laughs> it was awesome. I it love was it. It was awesome. Hey, man. But the streets had it six months before it came out. You know that copy came straight from Technicolor. Somebody in Technicolor, it's like the McDonald's scam. You know, right. McDonald's Monopoly? Yes. That somebody on the inside was giving it out. Yeah. And somebody on the inside sent that straight to the street because they knew they could get money on it. Right. Everybody made money but Kevin and the producers of that movie. <laughs> but see, now... But think about it. Look what Kevin is now. Right. I know? mean, you do voice acting. I mean, Boondocks, American Dad, Spider-Man, yeah. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Do you, I mean, because a lot of people like, say they like doing voiceover roles. I do you it. like that? Love it. Love it. Everything. In, in fact, uh, oh man, I don't know. I can't even say it yet. Dang it. Oh, you got something. I know. I know. I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. But uh, I love it. I love doing all this stuff, man. I mean, remember, it's all entertainment. You, right. you gotta, now, now, understand this. I got to go back to another thing. When I started, people weren't doing, like, stars weren't doing commercials. Right. 
And they came to, I remember getting this opportunity because one guy fell out. Uh, they had hired some guy to do it. And they said, well, we had this Terry Crews type guy. Why don't we just ask Terry Crews if he would do it? They put, presented me with the first Old Spice commercial. Yeah. And I said, hell yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. And I went in there, man. And they so was like, up, you grew up wearing uh, those. I don't know. <laughs> you grew up wearing, wearing Old Spice back in Everybody wore that. Everybody. And look, first of all, you got to understand. It was kind of like on the outs, like Old Spice was, uh, mm -hmm. they were thinking about changing it and the whole thing. And all of a sudden it became icon. I said, you can entertain with two minutes, one second voiceover, you can entertain. I said, my rule, I have no rules. And dude, I did that whole campaign for 10 years. Wow. It changed the game. Like all of a sudden you have major stars now doing commercials. Right. And the whole thing. But I the old spice changed the game. They played on all over the NFL. That was yeah. that was another thing that was kinda like my revenge on the league. Because I, you couldn't watch a game without seeing the, some uh, crazy Terry Crews Old Spice, Spice commercial. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I don't know if you have any horror stories, but Terry, but uh, Terrence Howard said that he was only paid like twelve thousand yeah. dollars for doing Hustle and Flow. You have any horror stories in which you felt that you didn't get the proper compensation that you deserved? I first of all, I and I understand what Terrence is saying, but I have never ever ever looked at whatever money I got as a horror story. Mm -hmm. If I did it. I loved it. Right. See, but this is the problem. I have a, I, there's a saying I have to say, you can't nod yes and mean no. If I nod yes, I looked at the terms and say, okay, you're going to pay me four grand for two days. Okay. If I said, okay, I can't come back later and be like, ah, I only got four grand for that. That's what hey, man, mentioned. that's what you presented. Right. So there it is. Don't, ain't no, to me, I'm not, I'm not going back on that. Right. And this keeps my heart always full of gratitude because once I start to complain mm -hmm. about any of that, it starts to mess with my legacy. I didn't get nothing for training day. How about that? I didn't get a zero, but it changed my life forever. You wouldn't know who I was if it wasn't for a no paying job. First of all, it named somebody to play football for money. When they start, you don't get no money. Right. You play football for free. You play basketball for free. Then you get all the way to the pros and you get the millions. Ain't no other way, bro. There's nothing else. Wait, there's no way to hop, skip, and jump this thing. You see what I'm saying? But that's the thing. People are trying to invent ways to get right to the money. But, hey, man, first of all, nobody knew who I was and I got my shot. I got paid maybe... Four grand on Friday after next. But that's why I came up to Cuba and said, thank you. Thank you. That was a start. That was a start. Now, it, 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 woo, it, it, I make money now. <laughs> Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.